Hi folks, it's Cat Beer and welcome back to another Christmas episode. So today I feel like we're going to make uh, the walls a little bit bigger and then we're going to put a top on of glowstone. Or maybe shroom lights? What one's brighter? Or are they all just the same brightness? I don't know. Where where the glowstone at? Again, I always lose things. Always, 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 always. Oh, there we go. Glowstoneo. Bada bee, bada boo. So, how's everybody getting on today? Uh, my son's still coughing with his pneumonia. Uh, it is not fun times. I'm hoping it settles down soon because obviously the alternative is him going into hospital with IV antibiotics. Uh, and that is not a great thought. Right. Just make this a little bit taller. Just so we're not making the roof basically directly on top of the the snowflake. Right, over we go. So for those of you that haven't been before, this is the Christmas themed area that I'm doing uh, for my oldest daughter for Christmas. Uh, and she'll get it, well, she'll be invited to it uh, on Christmas Eve. So I might record that. Uh, I might not. We'll see how it goes. Um, if I do record that, that'll be part of the long episode I'm thinking about doing on Christmas. Uh, it'll obviously be pre-recorded. Um, cause we're at my mother-in-law's on Christmas. And I'll probably be drunk at some point, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not driving this year, the husband's driving, because he learned how to drive, uh, some months ago now. Uh, and because I've drove every other year, he decided to drive this year for Christmas. We usually do the whole Boxing Day shopping thing, but we're debating whether or not to do that this year. But we'll see how it goes. Right, I wonder how dark this is going to be with all the glowstone. You know what would be good? If they had some form of, not light block, but a light slab. That would be good. Like a glowstone slab or a shroom light slab or a, you know. I think the closest thing you can get is a... Uh, Maybe a daylight sit. What are they called? Is it a daylight sensor? Yeah. That's sort of bright a little bit and looks like a slab. I wonder if that would work as flooring. I'll need to try that in a build sometime. Wait, so underneath this Christmas box. Uh, there is a shipwreck and not far away from it as well, I think it's th this direction, there's an ocean monument. Where is it? There it is. So we'll just go have a little explore see what's in here. If there's golden sponges, that's like all you need. Get them gold, get them sponges. 
Oh, this is a nice big bit under here. This this bit under here would be like awesome to make a basin. If obviously you killed all the guardians and yada yada. Where is the door? Where the door at? Look at these kelp just floating about in nothing. They're not on anything. Look, they're just... That's weird. Bug rock. Oh look, the entrance is like under here. That's interesting. Alright, let's go have a swim about, see where we end up. Welcome to a Christmas episode where we swim around the ocean monument. Right, is that it so far? Boring. Where, where's the rest of it? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, come on. There's got to be some good stuff in here somewhere, right? Hello, where the good stuff at? Is there anything? Nope, nothing in there. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the block of gold. Right, so we found that. So, we got any spongies? Any spongy rooms? Spongy rooms would be good. Where are the spongies at? Hello, spongies! Where for art thou spongies? You're not spongies. Where are the spongies at? Do we have no spongies? I'm getting upset now. Where are the spongies? Spongies! It's like the best thing about an ocean monument is getting all the spongies. Hello. Oh no, we're in this city again. <gasps> da, da, da. I get all turned around. Wee. Oh, and I'm out the front door. Okay, let's uh, try going in the top, huh? Or or not? Hello. Hello? Spoongies. Spoongies, spoongies, where are you going to be? I want spoongies, but they clearly don't want me. Whoa. I'm going fast. Why am I going so fast? I don't understand why I'm... Oh, it's something to do with the space bar, I think. Yeah. Right, that stopped it. And that makes it go faster. Why are you so fast? Oh, I think it was because of the whole flying thing. Right, uh, we need to get the rest of this uh, roof done. So, no more distracting me with spongy getting. I don't know why I don't just hit the shift bar and take myself lower, like, boom. There we go. See? Perfect height. No spoongies for me. Maybe my kid will find them. Let's place bets. Who thinks my kid will find some spoongies in that ocean monument? Oh, I better put some potions of water breathing somewhere, huh? Eee. Oh, this is going to take a long time. I was saying that if you think this is bad, that floor, that damn floor took me hours. Hours. And creative. Hours. I may have uploaded a short about it. I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. 
Yep. Right. Uh, one thing, like, I don't like, I've stopped doing this, uh, like, posting photos of presents. Uh, you see it a lot happen, like, on social media, you see it a lot happening on uh, the parenting Facebook groups and what have you, uh, and on Instagram, and, you know, those picture-perfect uh, thingy of the families all in their uh, matching jammies, and, you know, oh, the vast amounts of beautifully wrapped gifts for the kids, and it's just not helpful for anybody. Uh, the parent gets stressed out trying to take the perfect picture and then edit it the right way and post it to all their social media pages and then it takes attention away from, you know, the kids because they're worried about, oh, how many likes did it get? How many uh, people commented on it? Did people like my picture? You know, attention, 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 attention. Uh, and while they're spending all of that energy, like, worrying about how they come across to others pe that they don't know on the internet, uh, you know, it takes attention away from actually spending time with your family. Uh, and also, like, for people that can't afford to give their kids that much on Christmas, it makes them feel really bad. Like, I've said this before, like, my daughter's first uh, birthday and Christmas, she got a lot of secondhand stuff because we could not afford to uh, buy anything new for her and she doesn't remember we had like a really good day we had good food we had a good day with family uh you know i've got lots of great pictures of her smiling holding a holding a cardboard cracker and you know eating her christmas dinner and what have you and one thing of her touching any of the plastic crap that we bought her. Uh, and we felt really bad at the time, like obviously not being able to get her new stuff uh, and feeling like we f like failed as parents because oh, we can't do this or we can't do that. Uh, I'm like, if you're in that position now, don't worry about it. Like, especially if your kid's really young, as long as they have a happy, fun day, uh, that's what they're going to remember when they get bigger. Like, look back when you were a kid. Uh, can you tell me like, obviously, everybody will have the, like, the one thing they, like, got that they loved and will always remember. Or the one thing they always wanted and never got. And like, can you tell me everything you got for Christmas or birthdays or everything? Uh... That you felt like... Oh, my, my parents didn't get me this or they didn't get me that. and You know, did you ever have that thought in your head as a kid? Like, after a certain amount of years, like, I kind of figured out what was what uh, and stopped asking for stuff because I knew we couldn't afford it. 
but sometimes obviously when you're a kid you're ignorant to uh, the financial situation of your parents. And it can be heartbreaking, especially in this day and age when lots of kids are asking for like laptops or iPhones or Xboxes or PS5s or switches or you know all this technology based stuff like we did get our daughter a uh, Xbox One S Daddy, baby. Uh, for Christmas one year Like, I, I kind of don't want to say we were like one of the first people to get one, but we were. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and obviously, we had to tell her not to brag about it at school because, obviously, because at the time and how hard they were to get a hold of uh, and obviously the price um, I think she was one of if not the only kid in her class to get one for Christmas and obviously you don't want other kids feeling bad which is why like we don't tell the kids that you know, all their presents come from Santa. Like, we tell our kids that, you know, we buy the presents and Santa delivers the presents. Because if you tell your kids, like, all the presents come from Santa and Santa's getting one kid a new bike and an Xbox and a PS5 and a Switch and this, that and the other thing and someone else is getting another kid socks, a new pair of jammies and a pair of shoes, uh, they're going to reach a point where they're like, well why, why am I not getting this stuff, why are they getting this and I'm not getting this and Sometimes we expect kids to be grateful for what they have uh, without explaining to them why situations are the way they are. Like, you can't expect someone to understand the situation without all the facts. Like, my, my oldest uh, thinks literally, and some people think it's not a good idea that we explain things to her the way we do, uh, which is matter-of-factly. Uh, like, when she had to go get her COVID vaccinations, uh, is this going to hurt? Like, obviously, some people are like, oh, no, no, it, like... It'll just nip for a little second and like, yeah, it's going to hurt, but it's for the best, you know. Uh, there was this time I had to take her to hospital for an MRI uh, because she'd hurt her neck. I say her, she'd had some, uh, got something called dry neck. I had it as a kid. It was excruciatingly painful. Uh, and one of the hospitals, which is just down the road, refused to see her. They now have uh, a children's hospital down there as well. And the old children's hospital that we went to no longer exists, which was further away. Uh, because I had to get a taxi at the time, I couldn't drive then. Uh, and the taxi driver was nice enough to go into the hospital, say, look, I've got this really 
ill kid can you have a look at her and they refused because it was an adult hospital we don't have we've got specific hospitals for children and adults uh but given the extent of how she was presenting uh you would have thought that if it was an emergency that they would see a child Right, light block, give it to me, I need a light block, cause it's really dark. See, this is what I thought was going to happen. So I'm going to need to go around illuminating all these places. Just to make sure no hostile mobs spawn in here. Oh. So we'll do this side first. Although I think it's going to be like good lighting up some places and yeah because that looks kind of cool right? Wee. That looks cool like that but obviously I'm going to need to light up a lot. Light up, light up as if you had choice I'm doing a lot of count like every time I put one of these down I'm doing a lot of counting in my head just so I don't go over the thing and turn it off again this is taking a lot of my mental power right now like that Right. Right, now they're here. Sorry, I'm not talking very much, I'm counting. Yeah, placing this many blocks takes a long time, huh? And then you've got to ramp up the light as well. Which is quite annoying. I'm going to do these corners first. I mean, I think it's a good idea, like, if you're using, like, RTX, like, get a decent shade. Go. 
I've never used RTX in creative, I don't think. I'm surprised how dark it is considering the glowstone, but obviously glowstone only travels so far. Mood lighting, huh? Okay, guys, I'm gonna call it for this episode because this is taking way too long. I might time lapse myself doing this because it is very tedious. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.